evening. You don't know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about your speed, sir. Yeah, and I, I don't know. Okay. That's why it's an insurance. Calling Captain Mark Holm with the Minnesota State uh, Highway Patrol, Sunday, March 29th at about 7 p.m. is not available. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Hello, uh, Captain Holm. This is Erlon Johnson calling from Birdsville, Minnesota. My phone number is 612-991-0568. Email is Erlon, A-Y-R-L-A-H-N, at AOL.com. I'm calling to put you on notice that I want you to email my evidence for my rigged trial for case number 66-VB-14-3349, State of Minnesota versus Airline Hagee Johnson, and it's scheduled for April 17, 2015. In a trial by ambush move on uh, last Tuesday, March 24, 2015, uh, Special Prosecutor Kurt S. Fisher dropped some evidence into my lap at the beginning of my rig trial for case number 66-VB-14-4097. It is my understanding that discovery was designed to prevent trial by ambush, and apparently Judge Thomas M. Newville and the Rice County Attorney, Rice County Attorney's Office, have a special arrangement. Uh, the special arrangement appears to be that uh, Rice County Attorney John Fossum and his agents can engage in as many as many due process violations as they want, and Judge Thomas M. Newville pretends that due process violations don't exist. Oh, uh, you are aware that Special Prosecutor Kurt S. Fisher was rep reprimanded and fined $750 on November 9, 1995, by the Minnesota Supreme Court for committing unprofessional conduct and notarizing signatures on interrogatories not signed in his presence, one of which signatures was later discovered to be forged. Aren't you? You are, aren't you? Now, this evidence that was illegally withheld indicates that Trooper Patrick Ignashevsky's dash camera is a watch guard, and I want you to email me a copy of the checklist that Trooper Patrick Ignashevsky went through for his squad car and squad evidence gathering equipment prior to going out on patrol on August 9, 2014. I want you to email me a copy of the Watch Guard's user manual for the dash camera for Trooper Patrick Ignashevsky. Plus, I want you to email me a copy of the settings that the State Patrol has preset into the dash camera for Trooper Patrick Ignashevsky. Finally, I want a copy of all citations issued by Trooper Patrick Ignashevsky from uh, July 9th, 2014 to August 9th, 2014. I have a reasonable suspicion that you have known that Trooper Patrick Ignashevsky has been destroying evidence in his traffic stop. For you are approaching the maximum length for a recording. Finish your recording after the tone. I have a reasonable suspicion that you have known that Trooper Patrick Ignashevsky has been destroying evidence in his traffic stop for a long time, don't I? We do live in the age of technology, so this should not take you long to email this to me. You have reached uh, the maximum length for a recording. To send this message, press pound or hang up. To play, your message has been sent. If you would like to try an extension, you may do so now. Goodbye.
is not available, record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Uh, yes, hello, uh, Captain Mark Holm, Airline Johnson, calling back, uh, Burnsville, Minnesota, 612-991-0568, Airline, A-Y-R-L-A-H-N, at AOL.com. And just picking up where I left off, we do live in an age, in the age of technology, so it shouldn't take you long to email the information in my first uh, uh, voicemail to you, to me. And I need this free electronic data emailed to me because Trooper Patrick Ignashevsky was making wild and outrageous claims on the witness stand in case number 66-VB-14-4097 on Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. He was making the wild and outrageous claim that he is not familiar with Minnesota Statute 169.91, Arrest, Subdivision 1, Procedure 1, what to do when a person arrested demands an immediate appearance before a judge. Now, Trooper Patrick Ignashevsky is a law enforcement officer, isn't he? And so it is his job to know the law, isn't it? Of course it is, isn't it? Now, Trooper Ignashevsky Ignashevsky was also making the wild and outrageous claim that he is not familiar with the Minnesota State Patrol general orders that deal with arrest and Minnesota Statute 169.91. The general order specifically states that employees are responsible for knowing and understanding the Minnesota State Patrol policies applicable to their assignment, doesn't it? Of course it does, doesn't it? Trooper Ignashevsky also made the wild and outrageous claim that he knows nothing about a statement about me allegedly crumpling up my citation and throwing it on the floor. That statement was attributed to him by a Rice County attorney at my uh, November 18, 2014, free trial hearing that was held at 10 a.m., in front of Judicial Officer John T. Kajaka. I have reason to believe or suspect that Trooper Patrick Ignashevsky is conspiring with Rice County Attorney John Fossum to rig my trial for case number 66-VB-14-3349, like he did in case number 66-VB-14-4097, don't I? Oh, last but not least, I want you to transcribe these messages and email it to me immediately. I want to use it as my formal complaint against Trooper Patrick Ignashevsky. Airline Johnson, 612-991-0568. You are approaching the maximum length of recording. Finish your recording after the tone. Airline Johnson, 612-991-0568, airline at AOL.com, A-Y-R-L-A-H-N at AOL.com.